Hey guys, so finally, after three tries to the DMV office, I got my CF number and all the necessary sticker registered to my boat. And uh, here in California, in case you don't know, any boat you want to put any motor to use with it, you will have to register your boat and get a CF number print onto the boat. And well, today I'm going to show you how I print my CF number to the inflatable boat. So um, the letter size has to be at least three inch tall. So I went out to the local hardware store and picked up a box of these kind of stencil. Uh, I think it's only cost me five bucks. And I'm going to use spray paint. And that's what I'm going to use. I use uh, gloss black uh, to paint on it. Uh, I also prepared it a hair dryer, an old hair dryer that uh, I'm going to use to uh, help dry the paint in between coating because I think I'm going to spray it like three or four times. Okay, so I have my uh, number lines up and uh, these two this is a spacer because in between letter and characters you have to put a spacer there that's the requirement. So next step, we're just gonna use some masking tape to uh, hold them all together. So I tape it down on a table for now, the work table. And you notice that I seal all the line between each letter. That way when the spray paint go for it, it's not gonna sip into it. So that should be good. And all you need to do cut it out. So that will serve as my template. I'm going to use it for two sides, so try not to ruin it. When you put the stencil down, you have to make sure that as the minimum gap as possible. So you see when I put it on, I actually press it down tightly. When you do a spray paint, when the paint sometimes you get too heavy, it's going to drip and sip through those little gap. Um, there's a little trick that I use at the end. Uh, I'll use to clean it up. And, um, to avoid minimum work, you want to, when you put this down, one that's as tight as possible. So that looks good. Now all I need is to cover up the part that I don't want to overspray on it. Okay, here I go. Okay, let's go for the second coat. So this is about um, one hour something after lunch and uh, I think it's all dry. It's a hot day today, so I'll go ahead and remove this and see what the result look like. 
I want to be careful because I want to recycle this piece of uh, stencil I'm going to use on the outside. So uh, I'll do a little bit more careful. Okay, so the results are not bad, but you see all this dripping here and there and all this little thing. That's an easy way to clean it, and I'm going to show you how. So to clean up the letter, to erase all those overspray and um, you know bleed area, um, you can use a nail polish or remover, and use a Q-tip, soak it to a liquid, and you can just slowly clean out the letter if needed. Uh, in most cases, just light touch up, so uh, should be simple. So just soak a little bit, don't make it too wet. I mean, if you want, I mean, if you're not picky, this will work already. But this is really just in case you're looking for perfection. The nail polish, I will wash it. We'll dry those, we'll remove those paint for you. Okay, so this is done. And uh, I think the results is quite acceptable for me. I mean, we look closer, still have some imperfection, but um, this is pretty good in my opinion. You can definitely make out the number and all this, no problem. Um, so just have to do the same thing on the other side, and that's it. Okay, I have uh, the CF number printed on the other side already. Uh, I think the results is actually a little bit better than I have expected. It's I think the process is actually quite simple, uh, just taking a lot of time for it to dry and uh, to clean it up a little bit. Uh, about the stickers, um, I have the Muscle sticker and the California sticker to uh, 2019. Now I have no good way to stick them directly onto the inflatable bowl because the material surface is actually not flat, they're kind of rigid. So this sticker, if I put it on top of it, it'll probably not going to last more than a couple of times on the water. It'll be gone. So I saw a lot of people do it, and uh, they basically just found a piece of plastic and stick the sticker on and uh, hook it onto the side of the bowl. It will work. So uh, I'm going to just do it like this for now until I have a good way to do it, or until someone tells me I cannot do it. So that's it. That's how I get the CF number on my inflatable bow. Thank you for watching and um, please uh, subscribe and hit like. I will uh, definitely post more interesting video for you guys. Thank you.